Hi, I'm Paul from Fridge Defend, and we engineer a fan controller for your absorption refrigerator. And what I'd like to do is start with a little bit of myth busting. The first is, is that we hear people say that fans will keep the cooling unit from overheating. And this is just not true. This is your boiler housing right here, and this is sheet metal that goes around insulation which is inside and the reason that it has the insulation is no different than the reason your house has insulation. Your house has insulation so that the inside of the house will hopefully stay at a constant 72 degrees Fahrenheit no matter what the temperature is outside whether it's cold or hot. Now the boiler housing here does the same thing. It keeps the boiler at a constant temperature which is around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature at which ammonia boils. Your refrigerator will not work if the ammonia doesn't boil, so therefore a fan will not keep your boiler from overheating. Now that we've broken the myth that fans will keep your cooling unit boiler from overheating, we should add that the fridge defend is designed to keep the cooling unit boiler from overheating. So let's answer the question, what are the fans for? Well, that's simple. This is called the absorber coil, and the absorber coil works best the cooler it is. So therefore, the objective of a fan is to move air from outside your RV to into your cooling unit compartment. So we have specially designed these blowers so that they go right on the door and mount so that they suck air from outside the RV and blow them up across the absorber coils. This makes the refrigerator much more efficient and this is an engineered fan control. It's designed specifically for your Dometic or Norcold refrigerator. The next myth we want to break is, is that people generally will say, well, my Dometic or Norcold already has fans. Well, the Fridge Defend comes with a fan control that's engineered for the system. And we will explain this. This is a Norcold fan right here, which is the same position that you'll find the Dometic fans. And this is truly a fan where this is a blower. Now let's talk about the difference between a fan and a blower and the advantages of one over the other. Fans are very inexpensive, especially for these computer fans. And this fan will, it has the problem in this position of the fact that it brings the air in the bottom, it blows it out the top, but air is going to take the path of least resistance so it's going to suck the same air back in that it blows out the top. You can see that a blower doesn't tend to have that problem. The blower itself ha produces what's called pressure head and the pressure that comes out of the outlet will not be sucked in by the inlet of the fan. Where this fan has that issue it has almost no pressure whatsoever coming out of it. So now let's talk about the next issue and that is, is for side vent installations. And with side vent installations this is the area that's vented and it's critical that this heat exchanger right here maintains a temperature below 130 degrees Fahrenheit otherwise the refrigerator won't work properly. So our blower will mount onto this door, the upper door, so that it's sucking the air out of the cooling unit compartment and blowing it out the door. So on the side vent type refrigerators, our blower system actually keeps your RV cooler. The next myth we want to break is, is that the more the fans run, the better. This is completely incorrect. Let me tell you why. This is the condenser, as we have already discussed. 
and it needs to be around 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. This tube right here, if it drops much below around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the ammonia will start condensing inside of it rather than coming up to the condenser. What happens is, is your ammonia refrigerant drops back down into the boiler and what happens is, is you lose efficiency of the refrigerator. So at around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, ordinarily you don't need fans at all. So if you want a fan controller that will turn on the fans when they're required, you want to get the fridge to fin fan controller. It's a value because it not only controls the fan, it also keep, prevents your boiler from overheating, which is devastating to your refrigerator's performance. Coming to the front side of the refrigerator now, let's talk about the needs inside the refrigerator for fans. First of all, let's break one of the myths. That is, a lot of people feel that the more air moved inside the refrigerator, the better off it is. The truth of the matter is, is that we make two different fans. This is our ventilation fan for the back side of the refrigerator. It moves the right amount of air for the cooling unit. This is our interior fan, which moves the right amount of air for inside your refrigerator. If you move too much air inside the refrigerator, it causes a lack of efficiency inside the refrigerator and this has been well documented by poor cooling when these larger fans have been installed. Now the next part that's important to understand is, is that our fans are mounted on the top of the refrigerated space and what they do is, is that they suck in the hot air that's inside the refrigerator, they blow it back onto the cooling fins which cool it and keeps this circulation going to keep a uniform temperature within the refrigerator. So this brings us on to another myth and that is it's good to have the fan running inside the refrigerator all the time. This is completely incorrect and the reason being is is that having a fan running inside your refrigerator when your cooling unit's not producing refrigerant causes a lack of efficiency. So the fridge to fin fan control, it only turns on the fan when the refrigerator cooling unit is producing refrigerant. Consider looking at our fan control. It's a great value. 